Hey, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today I've got a quick mill pathfinder here. I'm gonna show you how to take off the outer case and the internal carrier for the water reservoirs to get you complete access inside the machine. Now notice my machine, it is unplugged. You don't wanna open this up with the power on. Um, and I'm only gonna need one tool, really, a Phillips head screwdriver. I've got a couple of them here. You might be able to get away with a smaller one, but uh, sometimes a bigger one helps get off some of those screws that were really tight in there, the big guys in Italy uh, really cranking them down. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is remove any of the accessories. So I've got my cup warming tray here, take out the water reservoir, we'll set that aside, and I'm gonna take off the drip tray. Now the way I do this is I put down a towel, I wanna protect my group head here, because I'm gonna lean the machine forward. Now you could lean the machine on its side, do put a towel down if you're gonna do that. Um, but I'm just gonna tilt mine up, make this a little easier for you guys to see. And you wanna be a little careful if you're gonna do it this way, because it will be just a little bit wobbly. So I'm keeping my hand on it here. So the screws we have to remove, well we don't even have to remove them, we're just gonna loosen the ones with the washers on them here. So one, two, three, four. And you don't have, again, don't have to take them all the way out. Just gonna loosen them. And that'll allow us to get the cover off once we get these loosened up. Oh, <laughs> keep going for that one. Not that one, the one with the washer. That was just right in front of my face. Okay, with those loosened up, you can see about how much I loosened them, just to give me some play. You'll see how this is gonna work. So, what I'm gonna do now is turn the machine up like so. Got a, two more screws up top. These two are gonna come out. So it's one, two right here. I'll set my screws aside so I don't lose them. And all the screws we're gonna take out are exactly the same so they can go back in any of the positions. We'll just have two more after this. Okay, well those two out, now I'm just gonna pull on the case and slide it off. Now we have the case off. Now, just two more screws. This is already loose up here, so I've just got two more screws to remove. One, two. Now we'll get off the uh, water reservoir carrier here. These ones weren't in too tight, but sometimes they are a little tight. That's why the bigger Phillips head screwdriver can help you out with that, so you can Get the right bite into that Phillips head screw. Take that right off. And with that, our water reservoir carrier is loose. Now, if you wanted to take this right off, get it out of the way, all you need to do is undo these two connections here and this little hose here, which doesn't carry pressure. Then you could pull this right out of the way. I'm not gonna do that right now. This usually gives you the access you need to the inside of the machine. And that is how you take off the outer case and the water reservoir carrier on a quick mill pathfinder. All right, now that you've done what you've needed to do inside the Pathfinder, let's put it back together. First step is we're gonna put the water reservoir carrier back in. Now when you set this down in, you're just gonna slide this portion in front of here. You do wanna make sure that there's no wires in the way that are gonna stop this from going down. Then also these little connectors here, they sometimes get in the way. So just pull these two little guys forward a little bit with a finger, and you'll know when it's setting in there properly because it'll go all the way down. I was just getting in those two screws here, and again, all the screws are the same that you've taken out. So they can go into any of these positions. I like to kind of hold that finger on there until we find the hole. Once we're in, we can bring those home. Give them just a little extra tightness on here. You don't have to go overboard. All right, with that on. Now, with a machine laying like this, we will be turning it up here in a second. I'm gonna work this case back on. It's really not too bad. So I'm just gonna separate the case just a little bit as I slide it forward. And then these guys, they go up over the top. It'll be pretty obvious when you do this. Pull it apart. And there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is turn this up and rest it on a towel on the group here so we don't hurt that. You know, it might help if you had a friend just to kind of spot you on this because it is a little wobbly. Now if we're lucky, those washers, they came out in front of the casework here. 
So what I want to do is get these two lower ones in first. I'm going to grab my screwdriver, and with my hand, I'm going to push this all the way in. Now, I'm not going to tighten these all the way right at first. Just get them snugged up a little bit. So again, I'm pushing that all the way in. Okay. And the two up top here, I'm just resting my hand. It's not really moving all that much, but I'm just resting my hand on here, putting a little pressure on to make sure it's in the right spot. Same thing up here. But a little extra tight, and I'll just go make sure these are all tight. Again, you don't have to crank super hard on these. And again, when you tighten them, press on the side here so that everything lines up right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to lead it back forward. Just two more screws to go. So it's these two right here. Grab one of those. We'll start over here. So you can kind of look down in there and see where things are lining up so that you can see the uh, screw hole there down in the bottom. And get it in. This might be the hardest part of this, is just getting those to line up. And once again, I'll get this started and then move over to the other one before I tighten everything down. Other screw. So you kind of push things together here with your fingers here a little bit just to get the holes to line up. Usually it's not too bad. If you should feel any resistance, if that screw's going in sideways at all, back it out, try again. They should go in well. Tighten those down pretty well. And that's it. Got our machine back together so we can put the uh, reservoir back in here. Put our cup warming tray back on. And our drip tray. And that's all there is to it. Uh, again, a Mark from Holate Love. Thanks for watching.